What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Today we are taking a look at Dead Space Remake running on the Steam Deck in Windows 11. Just checking out the performance, we have our custom performance overlay up in the top left-hand corner of the screen. By the way, if you're interested in knowing how to make your own overlay, check out the video down in the description where we show you how to make your own custom overlays for the Steam Deck in Windows. This overlay is also available for download. If you guys want to try it out, just head on over to our Discord channel and go to the section where it says share your custom overlays. And I have two overlays that I've created over there that you guys can download and import into RTSS. You will need RTSS and HW info on your Steam Deck. And if you're curious as to why it's not showing a number next to hours, you know, for how much time we have remaining in our battery, it's because we're currently playing docked and it's charging and it's not gonna show us how much time is remaining on the battery while we're docked. All right, so let's talk about the settings that we're using here in the game. We are playing with everything set to low, motion blur is off, film grain is off, FSR is set to performance, we did have it set to ultra ultra performance, but it was a little blurry. So we upped it to performance. And right now we are in chapter two of the game on a mission to find the captain's body. And it looks like we just found him here. And it looks like we are in deep trouble. He is converting into a monster right in front of us here. Oh my God. The graphics in this game are really, really good. All right, let's deal with this guy. All right, slow him down. Go for the legs. Take out those kneecaps. Oh, shit. This guy's got a hell of a reach. Try to take out those arms. All right, he's dead. He's down. But there's another one here in the back. I can see him through the glass window. He's coming. Same strategy here. Let's see if we can slow him down. All right, take out those kneecaps. Take out the arms. Okay, there we go. We we're able to slow down two at a time. These guys take a lot of bullets, man. All right. Oh, there's another one. Damn. Get back. Get back. Oh, he's got me. Trying to pick up this ammo here. All right. There we go. Check out those legs. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Objective updated. All right, so the game appears to be running pretty well with these settings. Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me. Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Jen. God, maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. All right, so the game does appear to be running pretty well with the settings. Um, we do experience an occasional stutter here and there, but not very often. I have seen the frame rate go as high as high 50s, but also I've seen it dip down to low 30s. Occasionally, it may dip below 30. So it may be best to just play this game cap at 30 FPS or 40 FPS if you don't want to have, you know, big fluctuations in frame rate. All right, switching on over to Steam OS now. We are running the game with the pretty much the exact same settings. The only real difference is that we have bumped it down to 720p instead of 800p, which is what we were running in Windows. And so you may see a slight bump in FPS just as a result of that alone. 
but overall i will say that the game does appear to run a little smoother in steam os especially after the the uh valve put out the uh, proton update for the game it does run pretty well on steam os so for those of you who are dual booted and you're wondering which operating system you would want to play this game in i would say steam os has a slight edge over windows for this specific game but it runs good in both you won't be disappointed with either one but i would say that it does appear to run a little bit better here in steam os after the update oh boy we got a whole bunch of them over here we got this new weapon it's the saw it's like a floating 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 buzz saw here so we're gonna try to chop through these guys Oh my god. Alright. We made it. Now if you guys notice we don't have the hand cam down in the bottom right hand corner because unfortunately with SteamOS in the gaming mode we do not have the ability to uh, duplicate the screen. Oh boy there's, there's another one right next to me. Yeah, we don't have the ability to duplicate the screen um, in gaming mode. We can do it in the desktop mode, but then we won't have the overlay in the top left corner that we have in gaming mode. So that's why you don't see the uh, hand cam in the bottom right corner for SteamOS. Progress report filed by Jacob Temple. The engine problems aren't a malfunction. Now you still will see some occasional drops even in SteamOS. Um, you know, like as you can see, we're in like 50s right now, but you will see some drops down to low 30s sometimes. Not often, but occasionally, and maybe even below 30 at some points. And this is on low settings with uh, performance FSR set to performance. But overall, it does run really, really good. Uh, hats off to uh, the developers who made the game and also especially to Valve for uh, fixing it because on day one, it, it was not running anywhere near this good on SteamOS. It was actually running better in Windows and I was recommending people to play the game in Windows because it was running way better in Windows on day one. Uh, but then Valve put out this uh, patch and then all of a sudden it was it's now it's running slightly better in steam os so hats off to valve for uh fixing the game so overall i highly recommend playing this game on the steam deck whether it's in windows or in steam os it is running pretty good and man it is an awesome game if you have not played the, played this game yet i highly recommend it and like i said i hope they remake all of the dead space games give us all three remade i think that would be really really awesome all right guys so that's it for this video we just wanted to show you a quick performance comparison between windows and steam os after the proton update we definitely plan to do more videos like this where we show performance comparisons on both operating systems to let you know which one will run the game better Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. We're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Game over.